Bill Stabrakis from Biggin and Scott Elstonwick. And Dragon Mark Heller, Biggin and Scott Elstonwick. Well, the month of April saw a very, very busy time, Dragon. Yep. Listings were absolutely walking in through the door with a record number of 20 homes that we're going to be auctioning in May. The sales side of it, as you know, a little bit quiet okay. with all the, um, what was it, the Jewish holidays, the Easter break, Anzac Day, school holidays as well. Yeah, there was a combination of uh, holidays and, and breaks that we had there and uh, we found much the same with uh, the rental department. Okay. Um, we uh, certainly um, are moving stock but uh, there's not as many people around. Uh, mm -hmm. People are obviously away on holidays and uh, haven't um, you know, been uh, seeing as many people through the doors at the properties but uh, nonetheless uh, we're still uh, finding there's strong demand uh, in the marketplace with um, the houses and uh, townhouses which uh, unfortunately we're not getting enough of mm. but uh, the, um, the apartment market is, uh, is still uh, saturated if you like, okay. um, it's probably the best word to uh, use there and uh, we're finding that um, properties are still moving, they're just taking a little bit longer and as a result uh, the price has been affected but uh, nonetheless um, yeah like we're still uh, I think going to have a very strong uh, May. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, stock um, coming forward, and um, and certainly people out there that are uh, looking. And um, as you know, and uh, we discussed uh, earlier today, we had um, some good results, and particularly uh, the one at uh, number 22 Stanley Land Grove, mm -hmm. uh, which was on the market for uh, about 10 days. Uh, that property leased after six private appointments, and um, we had three applications on that property, and. Uh, yeah, we've successfully um, leased that. But, um, what sort of level was that priced at? Sixteen hundred a week. Yeah, huge. So there was a good result for our Very office. Good. And um, and look, there is certainly uh, demand for more of those homes. Uh, we had two people uh, or two families that missed out on that home, and um, yeah, would uh, be you know encouraging any landlords that do have properties like that to um, give us a call because uh, we do have people and clients out there that are looking. Great. Mm. And in terms of sales. Again, a quiet month with all the disruptions mm -hmm. uh, during the month of April, but May we expect to have an absolute belter of a, of a month rather. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, there's an excellent number of quality homes that we'll be auctioning and taking to the market, uh, also apartments and villa units, but I think that the low interest rate environment, the low inventory and the pent up demand I suppose from having a slower April mm -hmm. will really show some great results in May. Good. Uh, so where, where are you finding the demand in uh, the area at the moment, Bill? Well, the demand seems to be exceedingly high in freestanding houses, particularly in that price range between 800,000 to around 1.5 million. Yes. There is endless numbers of buyers. As you know yourself with 6 Printer Street, which is going to auction in early May, mm -hmm. we've had around 90 groups through in the first weekend. Wow. So yeah. great Good numbers, numbers mm. great demand, and no doubt it'll be a belter of the price. Excellent. Great. Well, thanks for watching our market wrap for April. We look forward to seeing you next month. So from Bill Stabrakis and Dragon Markella, see you next month.